share with you the fun. In my recent book that I published, I talked about that successful, happy people have three things, and they have three things in abundance, in plenty. You ready for this? Number one, here it comes. Money. Now hold on. <laughs> Does anyone here love money? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I let me reword this question. Who likes to be rich? Raise your hand. All right. Some of you didn't raise your hand. Either you're already rich, or you didn't understand my question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but rich is, doesn't mean money, right? Rich could be rich in friends, rich in gratefulness, rich in kindness, which has become a very rare currency. It's also even a more rare currency, which is rich in trust. Become a very rare currency. How many people trust us and how many people? So wealthy is has to do with money. But I want to talk about money. And a lot of people say, oh, you just talked to us about the importance of your mindset and your choices. Now you tell me money makes me happy. Hold on a second. The reason why I say money is not the only thing. It is in combination with the other two elements. But money is a proof of how hard and smart you have worked. And it's also often a testament, it's called your, your, your fruit of your labor, the fruit of your passion and your love, the, which it can be measured. The harder and smarter you work, the bigger your bank account, correct? And today, uh, because it's measurable, it's the only tangible measurable elements that I can touch, is money based on a result of my passion and my love for my work, you become successful and happy. Uh, and also, in today's world, we need money, we need plenty of it, don't we? If I'm really stressed out, I can take a kick-ass vacation and go sit on the beach and drink those little drinks with little umbrellas in them all day. If my, God forbid, someone in my family is sick, I can buy them the best treatment and the best medicine. And if I want to send my children to the best universities, I can do that. But it's not the only thing. In fact, some of the unhappiest people in my family are the most wealthiest people in my family. Because they look at money as the only Exactly, it's the only benchmark. They lose sight of real relationships and the essence of real people around them. But that's one. You make money. Now, how much money you want to make is completely up to you based on your lifestyle, your expectations, and whether you are happy with this much or you're happy with that much. It's up to you. But we need money because it is a tangible element and a testament of how hard we work and we actually measure. Is that enough? Absolutely not. So the second one, so it's money, yes. it's sunny. <laughs> sunny. What does that mean? What do you mean by sunny? What did you say sunny? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Sorry? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Positivity. What else? I'm going to switch, uh, uh, sort of slice sunny down into three. Uh, it's mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. It's happy people <coughs> put in an effort. Even when they're stressed out and then when they're down, which are we're humans, I mean, we go through it, I go through it, everybody goes through it. Uh, when they go through it, they automatically stop themselves and say, right, in my mind, I'm going to be quite positive, right? They, they think positively. They take adversity and turn it into, into a positive. They uh, recognize, I'm, I was just being a bit of a, of a, you know what, I'm just going to be nice right now. I'm just going to say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Because we're humans, you know, we get angry and say, I'm sorry. Uh, and, and you tell them, I'm sorry because I love you and I didn't mean it because I'm just stressed out. People, when you, when you open up your minds and your hearts to people, people understand why they're in this way. But don't make it into a trend. I always say, hey, you are an absolute body. It's treat your body by exercising, eating healthy, and uh, try to stay away from things. I mean, sometimes we all let go. Fine. But make sure that your body is well taken care of and your soul by believing in a higher power. God, the universe, whatever you want to it makes you a more uh, a, a, a grounded person with integrity and principles and values that become synonymous and to your personal right. So you live those uh, values and principles. You like that? Yes. Okay. What do you think is the third element? Is it money, sunny, and you ready for it? And honey. <laughs> She's like, yes, I hit the job mark. It is in honey. Now, what do you think honey stands for? The relationships in your lives. I'm seeing the relationships. Successful, happy people put as much effort in their relationships and their friends and their family as much as they do in their work and in their health and in their money and in their son. 
happy people have the ability to go home and put their head on the pillow and say, I've had a great day because the love of people that I love are worth taking care of. And successful, happy people have all of these three things in, in balance. As Mahatma Gandhi said, the true happiness is, is what you think, what you say, and what you feel, and what you do are all aligned. Correct?